Hey guys, what's up? Edward here, today let's talk about the smartphone brands that introduced some of the first things, or tech, to the ever-growing smartphone world. Today we see, Basil Less phones, Infinity Display phones, Foldable phones, and many weird phones compared to previous generations. So who did this possible, we tried it first. Let's check them. Myza Zero, it was marketed as world's first holeless smartphone, that means no USB ports, no buttons, no speakers, and obviously no headphone jack. It was a completely seamless phone. Because of virtual buttons, you can use it in any orientations. Well let's not talk about success rate of these smartphones in market. But the effort they put is worth noticing. We remember phones using physical fingerprint sensor to unlock our devices, then Chinese-based smartphone manufacturer company Weibo introduced a concept of indial fingerprint in one of its ads. The concept was brought into reality when they released Weibo X20 Plus UD, it featured world's first under-display fingerprint sensor. This sensor was not stunning fast at earlier days, but after almost each and every company adopted this feature, the tech got faster and better every day with new updates and on newer smartphones. If you are enjoying the video, the sub to the channel would be really appreciated. Okay anyways, today we see multiple cameras in a smartphone for better shots and better details. But ever wondered, who started this multiple camera trends in smartphones? World's first dual camera setup was introduced by two major smartphone giants LG and HTC. Let's talk about LG Optimus 3D, this phone featured dual camera setup, aimed to capture 3D photos in a smartphone. Phone's UI to resemble 3D interface, and that was cool. Another device with dual camera setup is HTC Evo 3D. This phone's main point of attraction was also 3D image capturing using dual cameras. And this phone too had a 3D interface and HTC UI skin. Then the number increased. Another smartphone giant UI introduced UI P20 Pro with triple camera setup. This is also one of the smartphone that set a new record in DxO Mark scores for its camera details and functionality. At the time of release this was also recommended as value for money flagship smartphone by many reviewers. Number increase again when Samsung released Galaxy A9, a smartphone with quad camera setup. It was advertised as world's first quad camera smartphone. All these cameras had different functionality and were used to capture more interesting photos. Even though A series was not a flagship series of Samsung, four camera setup was made available for the Smith range budget smartphones. Instead of using extra camera for selfie, what if rear camera is used to take selfie? It was made possible by rotating camera module. Rotating camera was introduced to smartphone market by Oppo smartphones. Oppo N1 was the first smartphone to feature rotating camera module. Where, rear camera can be utilized as a selfie camera. That was kind of interesting idea no one thought before. When it comes to try something new, Revo always comes first to experiment things. To achieve a full screen display, front facing camera was an obstacle, and this was taken care of by Weibo by introducing pop up selfie camera. Weibo Next was the first full screen Basil less smartphone and also a smartphone to introduce pop up camera trend. Weibo had pretty amazing commercial on reliability and strength of this pop up camera. If you have time, please do watch this interesting video. Okay, that was pretty good commercial to gain trust from viewers. Moving on to the next, it's again Weibo, to introduce a dual pop-up camera. 
Vivo V17 Pro was the first smartphone to feature dual pop-up camera. After all these pop-up camera trends, Asus came up with the idea of rotating camera or flip camera. With release of Asus 6E, idea was not new because Oppo has introduced flip camera long back. But this smartphone was marketed as world's first controllable motorized camera because of its unique features. Best among all features was motion tracking, I mean just look at this video. Motorized camera is tracking the selected object even after he is out of frame, it was a wow factor of this smartphone. Recently Weibo came up with the gimbal camera system. Weibo X50 series is the world's first smartphones with gimbal camera module. To improvise stability, almost every phone comes with either electronic image stabilization or optical image stabilization. But adding gimbal system in a phone was fresh and great idea. As shown in commercials, this really make difference in stability of your video. Now let's talk about screen and display improvements that various smartphone brands came up with to enhance viewer experience. LG G3 was the first smartphone to offer Quad HD display in smartphones. Before this almost all phones have either HD or Full HD displays. After this many of the flagships started offering Quad HD displays to users. Nowadays Quad HD display is common in smartphones, but Sony launched a smartphone with 4K display. Sony's Xperia Z5 Premium. Yes, a smartphone with Ultra HD display. Quad HD is more than enough for many of the smartphone users. No doubt, Ultra HD will enhance the viewer experience of those who plays high graphics games and movies. But it also consumes a whole lot of battery power. But anyway somebody tried something new as a marketing strategy. Have you ever thought of a smartphone with dual display? Maybe yes, because you have already saw many weird phones now. But this was not a case, few years back. Nubia X launched first smartphone with dual display. A display in front and rear as well. This may be weird but a fresh concept that was implemented. With the same concept, Weibo also launched a smartphone with dual and wall display in front and back as well. Weibo Next 2. If you need a true bezel less smartphone and no pop-up camera, then this surely a best concept to be adopted by smartphone manufacturers. Even famous manufacturers like Samsung tried to introduce new concept smartphones. Galaxy Round was one such experiment by Samsung. These smartphones had curved display. LG G Flex was also in one such smartphone with the same concept. Sharp had also tried a new concept of bezel-less smartphones. Sharp launched Sharp Echo's Crystal. These smartphones actually had thick bezel action, but still tried something new that others didn't. This smartphone design was unique and beautiful. So, which was the first foldable smartphone? Samsung Galaxy Fold, or you probably think of UI Mate X. But it's Royals FlexPi. FlexPi is the world's first commercial foldable smartphone with flexible display, a combination of smartphone and tablet. Even though this brand name is not so popular as other brands, still this thinking needs to be appreciated. Xiaomi has always known for its budget smartphones, yet they tried some interesting smartphones too. Xiaomi's Mi Mix Alpha is the world's first phone made entirely a screen. This phone looks absolutely stunning. This phone looks like a glass container with tech in it. They call it a 5G concept smartphone, a true bezel-less smartphone with 4D surrounding curved display. Again, there are many such interesting smartphones available in market. Please comment which is your favorite weird smartphone. And give this video thumbs up if you have enjoyed this video. Lastly don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you have not subscribed yet. Well, that's me signing off, see you in next video.